Churchyard, St. James, Stratford. These are the half names, the half people, the quarter lives of rain smoothed hieroglyphs, details smudged like that, that goodbye lipstick kiss that wounds the motel mirror. The markers magnetize the dead, dredge with their icy nets the deepest plates of this green sargasso sea, where Christ like we tread upon the graves and perceive the heavens. Are these fissures of men, these markers pressed to the beating hearts of the long departed, their stories pulled wide eyed to the earthly surface in a sobered froth of regret and memory? I do not know. It cannot be my place to judge or ascertain. I am no Messiah. The cypress here will always drape in prayer its sacred hands upon this special earth. We walk among the stories now, as they too may walk among us, some greened with grace's lifting flush, others still stark before the lens. In that eternal bewilderment of the dying. What I find so inspiring about this churchyard is simply the fact that it's about the stories of Stratford. You can almost feel the stories circulating in the air. And for years, we've had a house here for 20 years now. And all this time I'd sit on these steps and I would see the people walking among the markers. And sometimes I must say, walking over the markers. And I've just been fascinated by the fact that uh, it's almost like those stories are straining to get to the surface. And the markers themselves are like magnets pulling and drawing the stories out of the ground. And I think that is just so fascinating to read the stories and the inscriptions to the extent that they are still readable is absolutely fascinating. Well, I think the tone of the poem itself is, I would describe as reflective. You know, it's, it's not negative in any sense, but it's very reflective. I think during this time uh, when we uh, deal with so many issues in our society, uh, obviously the pandemic is to the forefront and it does cause us to reflect on our past and our present and the future. And I think, um, Driven by that especially, uh, I was inspired to write the poem as I just sat right here on these steps one afternoon and uh, wrote the whole thing right out. But I think it's been percolating inside me for a long time.